Mercer's Company's Church and Communities Programme currently funds 21 projects supporting people who are or have recently been homeless. All 21 projects deliver good quality, impactful, valuable work. We get a lot of people that say, I felt invisible, but you've seen me. It enables people to flourish. Just changing lives, changing lives with huge impact. The programme as a whole delivers good value and social benefit, making a real difference to homeless people and those at risk of homelessness. I'd been on the streets for quite a while and then I've got my life back. I'm doing music stuff, but I've even got gardening jobs and painting. I've travelled around with bands again. And if, you know, even the home I've got now, you know, if it wasn't for the shelter, I wouldn't have had any of this. Yeah, I, I, I think it's the best move I've ever made in my life. Um, by uh, coming to Nehemiah, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy with all of them. I've been there on days when I've just felt proper low and that, and, and they managed to pack me up. I don't know, they just noticed, I think, angels, really. I'm very grateful for this because I don't even know whether, I don't know whether I'd be alive or dead or maybe still in prison. Well, I know for one thing, I know if I was still alive, I'd be on my own. Projects have strong core values, such as respect, hope and trust. We give them dignity. I really hope we do that. I really hope we listen to them. Uh, the, the, the idea of giving someone a home rather than a house or even a hostel or a shelter, that, that's, it's, it's trying to say we think you're worth a home. I think really what drives us is the tenacity for justice for people. It's that push that this is not acceptable. We have people from different faith or no faith. They know from the one that we are a Christian-based organisation. However, we don't preach to you but we can support you. They have shared evidence-based approaches and a variety of delivery models. We don't have one model, one design that fits every person's route through the shelter. The, the project worker will sit down with them, put together a holistic, um, completely unique support plan that will help, hopefully help them move through the shelter uh, and into their own sustainable housing or whatever outcome it might be that they want. It's important to me that everybody has an input into how we operate so that we're sharing our information and receiving, you know, joint approaches from everyone. And that works with the senior management team meeting regularly, but equally with the whole team that we're working on the front line. It's a different approach to tackle homelessness and with a long term kind of view on how we can, how this programme can really kind of change lives. And I think, I think it's really exciting because of the partnership between us will impact Hub King's Cross that brings that kind of entrepreneurial experience and the programs we deliver in our network and crises, uh, obviously expertise and homelessness. We do the family approach. We listen not just to the young person, but we look at the needs of the whole family. That's how a lot of families always come back to us and want our support. Projects have faced various challenges this year, notably the COVID-19 pandemic. It goes without saying that COVID-19 has completely changed the landscape of shelter provision. So our immediate um, crisis point was ensuring that everybody was settled somewhere safely, which we did in partnership with other partners. But equally, we had certain people that were in temporary accommodation already that had no recourse to funds and so forth. So the funding enabled us very quickly to arrange to get food vouchers for people so we could do things digitally. So even if people couldn't come to us, we could provide services to them. There was a, a group of people now identified that used to be called the hidden homeless. Those people that were sleeping on other people's floors were often turfed out because a fear of, of, of this disease. Projects are working towards a variety of outcomes and impacts. For example, meeting crisis needs, providing longer term accommodation and housing, and improving people's health and well-being. The project has kept people alive. It's also kept people at prison and given people to come out of prison places to go. We've got a, an incredible track record for managing to get people 
into accommodation. I mean, it was 20 last winter. That's incredible, considering we only had 31 through the doors. It's the best move I've made in my life. It's it's given me the time to begin to get my head together. And um, it is just a game changer. It's a lifesaver. Also, supporting people into employment, promoting independence and personal development, and building connections within communities. Our residents are encouraged to be in form of employment, training, voluntary work, and most of them in the early stages, they're doing voluntary work in the community. This organisation is here to enable people to become more resilient, to give them confidence and to give them skills. It's a real opportunity for us to enable people to perhaps reach that, you know, achieve that their potential. Mm -hmm. Three days a week we're providing between anywhere between 60 and 100 meals cooked that we just give out to the local community. All projects value Mercer's support, which makes a real difference to their work supporting homeless people. We had some very kind emails when the COVID crisis started, um, saying, you know, if you need to use some of these funds in a slightly different way, if you're really struggling with fundraising and you want to talk to us about other ways that we might be able to help. Um, and that was that meant a lot, really. I, I cannot tell you the relief to know that we're OK for this period of time so we can start thinking about extras. You can't put your plan together if you don't even know that you're going to be open in a certain mm-hmm. amount of time. Having an unrestricted funding from Mercers and having another chunk coming in this year um, gave us a lot of flexibility, lots, lots of freedom to be able to do our job and, uh, and, and meet the needs ever-changing need of the homelessness at the moment with lockdown and and all that we've gone through um but yeah without that kind of funding our programs probably wouldn't have continued projects continue to learn a lot so we try to engage a culture of constantly looking to improve everything from our referral form to our investor statement form to, to our website in a sense, it's a management term, but continuous improvement, it, I think I could back that up with evidence to say we've been continually improving. So, what does the future hold? I've significant concerns um, about funding for next year and perhaps the year after. For me, the key learning is that uh, homelessness is not going to go away and it's going to be more prevalent due to current circumstances. And it's how we will work as a a whole organisation to set the ball in motion to meet those demands. So we are going to be undergoing a theory of change with our board of trustees to look at how we can be prepared and ready for that, that new challenge that we're due to face. The Mercer's Company's Church and Communities Programme. People thrive when communities thrive.